How's it going? How did you do? Hi. So now I'm showing you what you can do out of latex. So for example, wigs or medication or toys or rubber gloves or more. Then the latex is collected in these containers in these latex sizes and transported to the collecting plant. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye. Here at the Otto Hahn Gymnasium, we study history in English. That's a lot of fun, and it's not really difficult. You just need to say some words differently. Take, for example, the word dump locomotive. We don't say dump locomotive, we say steam engine. Another example is the German word Ritter. We don't say Ritter, we say Knight. And we don't say Pharao, we say Pharao. So, yeah, there's no difference. Yeah, the same. Anyway, if we can do it, you can do it too. You, you can, can do it too! too. Politic, take 52. <laughs> Guys, stop it. This is childish behavior. Who has got more power? Let's take a minute to decide. There are many sides that you can take in Star Wars, much like in politics. Which sort of power should we support to be introduced on the Death Star? What kind of world do you want to live in? Democracy. The form of government in which everyone has a say, including you. There are multiple forms of democracies. One of them is the presidential democracy. Parliamentary democracy is a system where you can elect representatives that then make the necessary decisions and laws on behalf of the people. We are not living in autocracy because our system has a division of power, meaning that there isn't an all-powerful ruler making all of the decisions for us. So sum it all up for yourself. What kind of world do you want to live in? Today we are going to present the bilingual biology at Otto Hahn Gymnasium in Innsbruck. We're Nick and Linus and we're currently in 12th grade. So why did we join the bilingual class? For me the main reason was um, to be able to speak a language that can be understood everywhere on the globe. And even made it possible for me to do an internship in the US, which wouldn't have been possible without this bilingual class. And also for me personally it was a lot of fun learning biology and English because you can learn two things at the same time, learning English and also learning about science. So what do we have here? This is the skull of Australopithecus. Australopithecus has a really, really small brain. And um, it can fit easily in my head. And this is Neanderthal man. He's a more recent cousin of ours. Uh, Neanderthal man has a much larger skull and a much larger brain, which means he was also much smarter than Australopithecus. Still not smart to catch us. Australopithecus, Steinheim man, Neanderthal man, and Homo sapiens. Are you ready to join us? So, don't make us wait too long. Bye! See you soon! See you later! Are we the same?